Elijah Nunez leads off in the first pitch of this 1-0 game. On the count full. And he takes ball four, and it's a one-out walk to the catcher, and here comes Braden Taylor. Strikeout pitch later on off the plate. Oh, what? Lined into right field, and that's a base hit. Orphan in to get it, and he is throw eludes on Friday night. The pitch. Inside, and a clip on Nell, and the bases are loaded for the Horned Frogs in the first. First pitch. In the air, right center field, going back to the fence, gone! Trey Richardson in opposite field, grand slam! And TCU leads four to nothing. Trey Richardson, third of the year. Good extension ball, carries. 3-0, upstairs, ball four to burn. Sophomore lefty delivers. That one punched through the right side. It's a base hit. Orphan over to get it. Burn taking off for third. He'll make it without a throw. And TCU keeping the pressure on in the first. Runner goes. The pitch is a ball. And taking it standing up is Silva. I mean, he had a running start there. But Smith didn't even look. Called strike three. Boyers down on strike. Second out. Took 28 pitches to get the second out, and Davis pokes it into right field, a base hit. Burns scores, Silver around third, the throw to the plate, not in time. Six nothing, TCU in the first. Austin Davis, the veteran transfer from West Virginia, delivering a two out base hit. This is set up in, ball off the plate, hit off the end of the bat here from Davis, first pitch again. Gets it out there. Good throw, just a little late. Navigate his way through the first. Pitch outside, delayed steal, throw down to second, and Davis is hung up, and Roland throws him out. The inning is over. You don't want injuries, especially this time of year. Josenberger, right field, long gone. Arkansas on the board on a full count pitch. Josenberger, second of the regional at 6-1. No doubt it from Josenberger. It's a good way to respond. Get one of your own first batter of the game. Work the count. You're good at that. 3 2, got the fastball in. And it was all TCU in that game. You see some of the numbers in it as Elijah Nunez leads off with a base hit here to start the second. For the Horned Frogs. In Arizona. Runner goes. Pitches. Hit into right center field. It's going to get down for a base hit. Nunez can fly. He'll get the stop sign at third. First and third. Nobody out for TCU. And they keep putting the pressure on Arkansas. And that really bailed him out in the first. Taylor into right field. Another base hit. Another run knocked home for the TCU third baseman. 7-1. to one. Should be a top 10 pick. Inside ball four, and the bases are loaded again. And again for Trey Richardson. The delivery. In the air to right. Going back on it is Borfin to the fence. He did it again. Trey Richardson making like Michael Jordan with the shrug. Two grand slams, two innings, 11-1 TCU. Second time in the last three years that uh, players hit multiple grand slams in an NCAA tournament game. Here in the first two innings. Elijah Nunez to left and over the head of John Bolton, the shortstop, a base hit. His second hit of the game. 2-2. Inside and it brushed Bowen and he reaches and here comes Braden Taylor. Uh, I'm not good at math, but that seems good. Taylor to right. Deep, Borfin back at the fence, looks up, another home run for Braden Taylor, a three-run shot. It's 14 to one, TCU. The Horn Frogs all-time home run leader has done it again. A three-run home run here in the third.
we're talking about how you're going to manage it. There is not. I think now. I mean, that's 14 to one TCU in the bottom of the third. You see the empty diamond in front of you. That is because there is lightning in the area again yesterday. A six hour delay before Arizona could take on Santa Clara in that elimination game. It pushed this battle of 1 0 teams to today. Just in case you were interested in potential postseason rivalries, as Polk sends that to the middle. Silva can't get it. Richardson's throw is late. Infield single by year, suffered an elbow injury and missed a long ways. Now Jasenberger drives it a long ways to right. Davis leaps. It's out of here. Tavian Josenberger's second home run of the game and third of this regional. On Arkansas now down 14 to three. Well, there's a couple for the Razorbacks. Can't get 13 back at once. Josenberger with a good swing. Off speed again. That time stayed back on it. of the top West Coast programs historically. Fontenelle delivers a base hit to left field for that tournament. Richardson to right again, going back, Borfin leaps, gone! Trey Richardson's third homer of the game, 16 to three. Three home runs, 10 RBIs, but the power in this ball game has been and they've all been opposite field. That one crushed by Jace Borfin way, way back and gone. Borfin with his 15th of the year, a 425 foot blast, and Arkansas gets one back. A third, third home run of Stoutenborough. Well, he got all that one. Timed it perfect with the leg kick. Just to the right of the scoreboard out there, way out there. Nunez has four hits now as that one will head into the corner. He's got a chance to make it three. Orphan over to get it. And it said Nunez will shut it down. A four hit game for the leadoff man of the TCU order. Sarlo said started with Nunez getting hot. That one flared into right center field by Bowen. It's a base hit. Coming around third, trying to score is Nunez. The throw home cut off. And it's 17 to four, and Nunez. Remember, we mentioned at the outset, as Fontenelle clubs that one to deep left. Wagner at the fence is going to make the catch, and the inning is over. Fontenelle gave it a ride. They were in a similar situation. It's tall. He loads on one to left center field. Back is Boyers. It's gone. Home run for Harold Cole, and it's 17 to 5. Fourth of the day for Arkansas. Not had a whole lot of men on base for them. Three solos. Josenberger had a two run home run. Powerful swings this ball down. Trying to become just the third player in NCAA history to hit four home runs in a tournament game. And the first pitch he chops high to third off the glove of McLaughlin. It'll have to be an infield hit for Richardson. In 2017, they lost to Missouri State in the 1 0 game. Dean to center for a base hit. Richardson got a great read. He's heading to third. Neville's throw is just not in time. Strong throw from the center fielder. Two and two. Pitch. Inside and it hit Davis. You okay? Hey man, all the hits were in that helmet. Why'd you take it? Swing and a miss. Maxwell strikes out using his own helmet. And now we have lightning in the area, and they're going to have to clear the field for a second time today. We had a weather delay of 58 minutes earlier today. Pitch on the ground through the right side. It's a leadoff single for Bowen, his third hit of the game. He is on base. 
for a fifth time, and here comes Braden Taylor. Lines that one past the third baseman McLaughlin into left field, a base hit. It is another four hit day for Braden Taylor. Everybody's like, hey, somebody's trying to tie your record. On the ground to first, high hop and over the head of Robinette into right field. A run will score. Taylor goes to third, RBI single for Fontenelle. He's on base for the fourth time. It's 18 to five and the pitch. Hit back through the middle, into center field, and he's done it. An RBI base hit for Trey Richardson. He has tied the NCAA record for RBI in a postseason game. His 11th of the day, it is 19 to five TCU. That one bounced to the right side by Byrne, who will knock home another run. First Tigers Byrne. That's 177 games as Boyer bounces to first. Robinette takes it to the bag. One strike away, swing and a miss, and the ball game is over. And TCU advances to a regional final. You get a look at our bracket here as TCU is into the regional final, awaiting the winner of tonight's elimination game between Arkansas and Santa Clara coming up at 8 o'clock Central Time.